What up guys, Xavier back here with another video of Honest Judgment and this time we're going to be reviewing Milk Stouts. So we have three today. First up we're going to do um, Milk... Uh, belching Beavers. Oh yeah, Belching Beavers, uh, Beaver Milk. We have in the fridge um, Peanut Butter Stout and then we have another one called uh, from Left Hand I think. Yeah, Left Hand. Uh, uh, nitro. Nitro uh, Milk Stout. Those are in the fridge because since they're like made with like lactose, you know, dairy product, you gotta keep we got to keep them cold. So, you know, you guys asked for more beer reviews and this is what we're doing. So we have Windows here, you know. Yeah, I'm back. He's back. He, he was just on tour. That's why I haven't done, been doing any videos lately. But he's back and then called him up to do Milk Stout reviews. So if you want to open it, it's all good. So, so he was gone. He was on tour with his band. And, uh, yeah. I'll probably put a like the links in the description of their band camp and all that shit. <laughs> Anyways, back to the more important stuff, not his band. <laughs> his beer review. Yeah, so here it is. Belgian beavers. I've never had milk stout. I've never had, you know, angry, or I keep wanting to say angry <laughs> beaver. <laughs> but because of the cartoon. But it's Belgian beaver. They're from San Diego. Uh, uh, new, right? Like, yeah, they're so like 2012 or something. Yeah, you could pour yours first and then I'll pour mine. And one thing we know about this, these beers is that they're super fucking dark. Like, dark. They look like fucking coffee. Oh, damn. Look at that. <laughs> but good head on it. Good head. Good head. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we decided to do stouts. I've had, uh, my brother's been asking me to do these, and I've never really had them. He says these are, like, his favorite types of beers. Except the horchata one. That one's fucking gross. I've had that one and it's just like, that one's pretty nasty. Yeah? It's not for me. Windows might like it, you might like it, but for me personally, I don't like it. But I'm excited to try these and then the back of them say they're all fucking silky smooth chocolatey and milky and stuff like that. So we're excited to try it. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like soda. Super dark, dude. Like yeah. Coffee dark. Like. I try to put it up to the light. You can't even see the fucking light. You can't even see through it. Like, this is no joke. You can't even see through this thing. Darkness. Can you see anything? No, dude. I didn't even from underneath. But... It smells like Guinness, kind of. Guinness drought. Just a little bit. I can smell the chocolate, dude. I smell chocolate, too. See what else is on this thing. How much percentage? 5.3 alcohol percentage. So, it won a gold medal, supposedly. Yeah. Lactose. So, this is beaver's milk. Hopefully it's smooth. I hope so. If, with it being so dark, it, it could either be really smooth or really bitter. Yeah. But I'm I'm guessing because the milk is going to, like, sweeten it. Sweeten it. Yeah, hopefully. So, let's try this out. So, here we go. Here we go. It's actually really smooth. Yeah, and then when it goes down, like the aftertaste after you're like you're going like mm -hmm, I don't know what's called like mm -hmm, like when you fart and you go wafting, <laughs> wafting, or you're smelling something. When you do that with Dude, your that's mouth, super smooth. It, you could taste the like dark chocolate. It's like super dark chocolatey aftertaste. It's smooth when it's going down, all cold. It's like, it's like kind of refreshing too. Yeah. Like, Especially since it's hot out today. Yeah. Like these beers aren't beers that you're like you drink. Like every day, every day, and like, like a six pack of them. Yeah, these are like more beers. That like uh, we were watching this dude named uh, Greg's Beer Reviews. Go watch that guy. That guy's way better than us. <laughs> but because he knows what he's talking about. But he's actually right. Like these milk stouts are like dessert beers. Yeah. Like they're they're not. It's a treat. Like yeah. It's not. Everyday they're not beer. for everyday beer or like one of those beers to like unwind after a hard day or something like that. I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. But these are like really sweet and these are more for like, um... Special occasions. Yeah, like special occasions and stuff like that. So like, maybe if you're out for like, you're having a nice dinner, you know, or something, or you want to treat yourself to like something different, like if you're feeling something different, not like just to get fucking plastered or something. This is this is pretty good. I'm actually it's impressed. Super. I, I thought it was gonna be super bitter and because I was it's thinking, so dark. yeah, because it's so. Yeah, I thought I was just gonna be like, oh, but no, this is actually or like overpowering. Yeah, like the chocolate. Things like yeah, 
it's not really overpowering anything. It, it, it's, it's super smooth. Yeah, it's super smooth and, you know, yeah. So it's really good. I, I'd say check them out. This one's called Beaver's Milk. Again. I'm digging the aftertaste. Yeah. It's like, like we said, it's smooth and the aftertaste kind of hits you with like that dark chocolate taste, but then it just starts mellowing out. It's like having a piece of chocolate in your mouth and like not chewing it or anything, just let it melt with your like saliva and stuff like that. That's exactly what it feels like, just just sucking on that like that chocolate for me. Is that what it feels like for you too? Well, I don't know. I don't eat chocolate that much. I don't like chocolate, but this is good. Though. I don't. I don't eat it that much either. But it's like, do you just like bite it and start chewing it? Yeah. Sometimes I just like <laughs> put it on my tongue and just like <laughs> just lick it slowly. But so far this is pretty good. It kind of makes my lips stick a little bit though, cause like yeah. it's all like sugary. But this is one out of three. I don't know if there's more. And then we found out something. Uh, interesting um, with uh, one of them is uh, the way you have to pour it. We'll talk more about it later but the nitro stands for nitrogen because they do something with it. Yeah. You said they infused it? Yeah. So we'll finish these off and then we'll jump cut to fucking the nitro. So we'll be right back. So we're back and I was doing I was reviewing the audio and shit so the clip before this, when we were reviewing the Beaver Milk, the audio fucked up. So we're, the audio is going to be from the DSLR. It's not going to be from my microphone because I was trying to do this thing earlier where I had two mics set up, but that didn't really work out. That didn't work out because on my audio interface, which my microphone connects to, it only has one socket. So I went to Guitar Center earlier to get a splitter so I could have two microphones plugged in, and it worked, but. The other microphone that I had in was so low that this one just basically overpowered it, and you can't hear dick. So I have to return that shit tomorrow. So I like I guess when I was recording it, it switched back to those settings, and it was just like staticky. It was just like so like that didn't work out. So I'm sorry, but you know I'm still new to this and shit. I don't do this every day because I know you guys want to see my beautiful face <laughs> and his too, but more mine. But so yeah, sorry about the audio for the previous clip. So this is from Left Hand Brewery. Left Hand Brewery. This is their uh, nitro collection, which stands for nitrogen. So somehow they infuse nitrogen in this bottle without having the widget thing. So which is the this is what I learned from like watching Greg's video. So it's funny because like it's a good thing we watched his videos before. We did our review because we would have just poured it like a fucking beer like this, and then like it would that wouldn't have been the correct way. Well, actually, no. Look, it says pour hard too. Yeah, but do we really read these? No. <laughs> yeah, so we don't really read these. So the proper way to pour this, Wesley will show you. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley uh, will show you how to pour it. It says pour aggressively. So the night, like what a widget is, it's a little nitrogen ball that you see in Boddington's or Guinness, and it's full of nitrogen. And that makes it like carbonated basically. So you can just do it right now. Right. So this is how you pour it. You gotta pour it like all the way straight down. So like whatever the fucking shit it does. You see how it like Damn it does? Yeah, it does like the Guinness shit on tap, where it started to do this like I don't know what it's called. It it just looks super cool. It just looks like like a lava lamp kind of thing. It looks like the thing where Guinness does it, but that's the way you pour it. You, like, you know, regular beers, you're just supposed to pour it like this so the head doesn't get that full. But with the left-hand breweries, like, um, their nitro selection, that's the shit that you have to, like, that's the way you got to do it. They want you to do that. Yeah, they want you to do that way because the nitrogen, like, infuses that way. They don't know, they don't want to, like, reveal the secret how they do it. Like, maybe they put nitrogen in and then the beer or vice versa. But, yeah, this one looks dark as fuck, too. It's a little it's bit... Super dark. It looks a little bit lighter, because you could... No. Kind of. No, never mind. I mean, at the very bottom, it looks lighter, but... I think that's because of the cup. It's pretty much dark as fuck. So, so yeah, without Greg, I mean, we wouldn't know how to do this shit. And this is the Milk Stout. I'm, they have other stuff. The other, like... I don't know if they have, I don't know if they have other stuff. But that's what Greg said. <laughs> But he says that they have the other stuff. And yeah, I think I saw some more at the store. Like, 
from yeah. Nitro. Like, they probably have other stuff for the Nitro selection where you do it that way, which is a cool way. I never, like, other than the fucking little widget thing, I, I would never think to do that with a beer. So this is another milk style. I don't know if it's chocolatey. I'm pretty sure it's chocolatey. I'm pretty sure that's, like, that's a thing. That's like the, the good the thing for milk styles is like have that chocolatey flavor. So this one is uh, how many? I don't even know. This is six percent alcohol by volume. So let's check this shit out. They also have a QR code if you want to check that out, and then I think it takes you to the their website and shows you how to pour this shit. So let's get down to it. Windows, you want to do the honors? Yeah, yeah. We're doing we're doing one glass this time because, as you saw, we had to pour it that way, so we can't do it like right here and then stop to the other one. So, wait for it to you know touch lips and you know. So, it's super pretty smooth, good. Though. It's super smooth again. Is it? Yeah. I just want to smell it. it. Smells lighter. It smells like. I don't know. Yeah, it's not as. Um, it smells smoother. Yeah, it's not as sweet. Like the aftertaste, neither. It's actually way smoother than the other one. Yeah. yeah, it is. I mean, with the beaver milk, like it was smooth, but the aftertaste was kind of like. Yeah, you had the aftertaste. Yeah, this you'd one is, feel it in your throat. This one is like, it has that somewhat aftertaste, but it's way smoother. That's actually pretty fucking good. I like yeah. it. And I think I like this one better, dude. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, I would say too, because that little, the smoothness, smoothness, new word. But yeah, it's way smoother than the other one. And yeah, I definitely have this like if I was like at a nice restaurant or like BJ's or something. Yeah, know? dude, this is something I can imagine like at a like sit down eating restaurant. eating like a steak or something or like something good, and then just like having one of these, you're just like, nice, that's pretty good. The head on it's pretty good. The bubbles are really tightly compacted and small. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but all I know is that if you have good head, <laughs> that means you have, you know, a pretty good beer. And this is pretty fucking good. I've never heard of this company. I've never really tried Milk Stouts until today. They'll decide to uh, do it. Milk Stouts are pretty fucking good. Colorado, actually. Is it? Yeah. Long Mount. Colorado, you're doing something good? pretty good and it says it has rocky mountain water are you lying are you using <laughs> tap water because i know a lot of tap water like our bottled water they say they're from the, the fucking alps and then they're from like fucking colorado <laughs> or something but yeah this is pretty good pretty fucking smooth not so much chocolate in this one i feel like yeah that is right i'm tasting more like coffee it does. Some, some it tastes like more like a little bit like coffee bean. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Malted barley. So it, it, now that like I read that it's like malted, that's like the flavor I was like thinking of like like malted coffee. Yeah. 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 Cause the other one had more hints of uh, chocolate, like chocolate, like dark chocolate to me. Yeah. So that was pretty fucking good, and this one is pretty fucking good too. So. If you like... Really smooth. Yeah, this one's way smoother. So I, I'd say if you want to, like, try milk stouts, um, try the left-handed brewery one, the nitro one. Because I think they have a regular version, I think. I don't remember. But I, I, I think so. I mean, because, yeah... Because nitro is, like, their other, like... Like an off-brand. Yeah, it's, like, their other, like, project, I guess. But um, I'm pretty sure they have, like, a normal one. And this one, I'd say, you know, try it out. Like, this is a really smooth one, not really harsh aftertaste. It's less sweet, but it's, like, way more smoother. Yeah. You want to finish that one? Yeah, I'll finish. But it's good, though. Yeah. Left handed, you're good. I wonder if you have other, like, pale ales or something like that I'd like to try. Because from this, this is pretty good. I like it a lot. Yeah. So... That was nitro, very good. Taste it, smooth, and uh, yeah. So we'll get on you the on to the next one, the last one. It's the peanut butter by the fucking Belgian Beaver again. All yeah. right, so we're back from drinking the nitro from left hand, and that shit is pretty good. Does I mean 
that she would go for uh, with a nice steak at a nice dinner, you know. Or like a good introduction to Milk Stouts. It's a good introduction for Milk Stouts. I wish you drank that one first. <laughs> what to expect? Because the other one was like, it was good. It's smooth. No, they're both good. Like, they're don't both get good. us wrong. Yeah, it was just like a little bit harsher. So like, if you're not really into like that bitter chocolate taste, go for the nitro one. And then, so this one, we're actually excited to try because peanut butter. And then I think your brother recommended this my one. My brother, my older brother recommended this one. He said this is like one of his favorite beers. And then he's always like, it's so creamy. It just tastes like a Reese's cup and stuff like that. So he kept telling me like review stouts, review stouts. And I always put it off. And then I was like, finally, I was like, fuck it. You know, why not? <laughs> I'll fucking do it. It sounds good. I have two days off. Like, why not? So Belching Beaver or yeah, Belching Beaver, San Diego, <laughs> you know, same shit. 2012. That's when they made this shit. And um, 5.3% alcohol by volume, peanut butter, obviously, milk stout, pretty fucking excited, so let's get on to this shit, and man, pour this shit, it's dark, what do you expect, it's just like IPA, <laughs> except this is good, yeah. It looks dark as fuck. Yeah, that's the thing. I've noticed, like, stouts are, like, super dark. Yeah, they're, like, super dark. I thought Guinness was dark, but, like, these are, like, fucking milk stouts are so fucking gnarly. Like, I love Guinness Drought. And then, um... But their extra stout from Guinness? Not for me. Hmm? Not really a fan of extra stout. Have you had it? No. Don't like it. Super dry. Not for <laughs> me. I don't know if there's a certain way to pour this one. I could smell the, like, peanut butter and, like, chocolate right yeah. away. It smells like a, a Reese's. Reese's. <laughs> it smells like a Reese's. This bottle cap is cool. has beaver on it. Yeah, dude. Like, take a whiff of that. Woo! Dude, that smells like a goddamn milkshake. It does. Dude, it, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> this, this. This smells like... Can we make these into shakes? Woo! Dude. We should start making them. We'll try to make a shake out of it, you know, in another video with you guys, you know, see how that goes. Cause the, the I mean, if it tastes as much, as, if as it good tastes, as, yeah, if it tastes as good as it smells, I'm gonna holy buy these. fuck! Like, I'm gonna start buying these. Like, these are it, okay. It smells literally like a Reese's cup, like a Reese's cup, or a Butterfinger uh, milkshake, or a fucking um, what is it? Like, like a shake. Dude. Yeah, it, it just smells like, like a milkshake, like. Ooh, that is so fucking good. Smell it. Take, take, take one, <laughs> smell it. <laughs> I know you want to. This is fucking good. Does it also have coffee in this? Yeah, it's got like some coffee, chocolate, and peanut butter. Coffee, chocolate, peanut butter. So if they make this, if this is able to make a shake, like a Bailey shake or a Guinness shake, like I'm, I'm so all for it, dude. For like, so holy fuck. Like, this is fucking good. I wish you guys could smell this. Pick this up if you're of age. And if you're not, then fuck you. <laughs> But, you know, if you are, I don't condone it, but if you're going to choose, like, something good, like, no fucking good. At least it smells good. It smells fucking good. <laughs> I don't know how it tastes. It, it tastes like asshole. But let's go on. Let's go on. Let's do Ooh. it. Tastes like peanut butter. Tastes really good. It does. It's smoother than the fucking nitro because of that peanut butter. But I do, I do get a harsher chocolate taste. Like the first one. Yeah, now I'm tasting. Yeah, once again, the chocolate's in there. I don't think this one had chocolate in it. The nitro? It had more coffee base, right? Yeah. But this is fucking delicious. It, it is. is so fucking good. I don't even like sugar, and I like this. <laughs> it, it smells amazing. The way it tastes, it, it, it comes into you like in two waves. Because you like, taste the peanut butter right away. You taste the peanut butter right away. You taste it, and then afterwards, like after it settles down, and you start like, you know, your saliva starts coming back. Um, you start tasting that chocolate and yeah. that's when the chocolate starts hitting you and you're just like, whew. And then after the chocolate hits you, the last like of the, like the, the way, yeah, the aftertaste is like the coffee, like mild coffee, just like hitting you like fucking re just like, whew. it's like three layers of just like peanut butter, chocolate, then coffee, which is fucking good. Mm, that's delicious, dude. If there's a way to make a milkshake out of using this fucking beer, I think we should, dude. <laughs> we'll try it. And then we'll do it with the video, like the, the camera and shit. We'll see how that goes. 
But other than that, this definitely recommend this. Thank you to my Delicious. brother for recommending me this, and I'm sorry that I put it off so long. <laughs> but this is fucking good. This is really, really good. Good. I'm not really into fucking sweet beers, but these like these milk stouts, there's something I could get into. Not not fucking drinking like like after fucking work or something like no, that. Yeah, but, like, something to like treat myself, you know, like. If I'm, I have, like, a few days off and, like, I, I just want to relax, maybe, like, watch a fucking movie or something, like, this is fucking, like, woo, this is fucking delicious. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Like, fucking, what's his name? Donna and fucking Tom Haverford from <laughs> Parks and Rec. If you haven't seen that, watch it. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> but fucking watch that fucking show. That show is funny. It's like The Office, the American version, but with Parks and Recreation, like, the government which is fucking funny. It's good. It's a good show. If you haven't seen it, you're dumb. You should watch it. But this beer, fucking awesome. This not good, dude. Not dumb. Like I'm digging this. I'm so yeah. digging this right like, now. Just that smell. Like it's weird. Like the Reese's. <laughs> after the Reese's, <laughs> after like letting it sit for a while, like you can start smelling like the coffee now, instead of just like straight peanut butter. It's like a little bit hint of more coffee. Yeah. This is fucking delicious. I recommend if you like peanut butter, if you like chocolate, if you like coffee, if you fucking like milkshakes that are like fucking Reese's or Butterfingers, fucking pick this up. It's literally like that in your fucking mouth. It's so fucking good. Sorry again, brother, for putting this off. (laughs) This is fucking delicious. If you have any more, let me know. But, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see me review more things, unbox things, talk about things, review things, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know, subscribe's right there. And fucking, you know, this is on his judgment. This is our thoughts. So we have the nitro, we have the beaver's milk, and we have the peanut butter. So far, this is the best one. These two are fucking still great. They're really good. Yeah, they're all pretty good. They're all good. But for me, it goes peanut butter, then uh, the nitro, and then it goes to this. That's mine. I don't know about you. No, it's the same thing, dude. It's fucking good. But if you want to, like, go into that smoother taste and not, like, hit the chocolate right away or, like, coffee right away. Yeah, start off with the nitro. Start off with the nitro. There may be more that we don't know yet because, like I said, this is our first time trying milk stouts. But, yeah, I, from these recommendations, try this and then definitely try the peanut butter one afterwards. Yeah, because peanut butter. That, like, you, even if you just like you want to get started off, try this Ooh. one. This one's fucking good. I guess this one would be more of like the original milk stout, how that tastes. Yeah. I think and then if you want a flavored milk stout, go for the fucking peanut butter one. Yeah. That one's fucking delicious. I fucking love it. Belching Beaver, San Diego, do you guys are doing a fucking great job? Fucking love it. Don't like your Ochata one though. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, this one's fucking good. It's so, so good. Cheers, guys. <laughs>